If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Radio Show is heard on WNLV 860 AM and W293CX 106.5 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, WWDB 860 AM in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and WAAM 1600 Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now back to the Wisconsin Vegetable Garden Radio Show with your hosts, Joey and Holly Baird. You got a question? Certainly send us a text on the instant access. IV Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard Hotline. And that's 414-368-9311. IV Organic 3-in-1 Plant Guard naturally protects plants against damaging sunburn, insects, and rodents. For use on your roses, fruit, and nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. This product is non-toxic, environmentally safe, and organic. For more information, visit IVOrganics.com. Don't forget our text line is at 414 414- Three six eight nine three one one. So we've got several questions that have come in via social media platforms and uh, email twvgshow at gmail dot com. That the whole deal there. Uh, what is required to grow asparagus? I am considering to do as such, but have no clue about it. Where would I purchase starts or whatever you call them? Well, they're, first they're of all, they're called crowns. crowns. Yep, and you can purchase them at your local garden center. You can also start your own, but I believe that's more difficult. Yeah, it takes about yeah. two to three year process to start them and mm-hmm. to get them established. A crown you can get as a one year crown or a two year crown. If you purchase as a two year crown at your garden center, plant it this year. You will be able to harvest off of it next year. So if you want it sooner than later, you want the two-year crown. And when you plant them, they have like this root system that's kind of spread out like an octopus-ish type thing. And you want to make sure you spread those roots out when you plant them. Because what will happen is those roots will shoot under the ground and then they'll shoot up asparagus. Now, asparagus is a uh, a perennial. It will last forever. Uh, We're talking 20 to 50 years in one spot. So if you have a lot of area or you have a specific area in which you want to turn into a uh, non-effort garden, there is a little bit of work that goes in with asparagus. But 20 to 50 years, you can have asparagus growing. Right, that's correct. So we got another question. Uh, Shear from Michigan asks, I would love a great seed-saving option. I use a shoebox and I use a banker's box. The seed packet packets fall to the bottom. Uh, the mice seem to like the manila envelopes. Um, if I if they eat the vanilla envelopes, I put I put those little silica gel packets in there, and then I want to be able to label them. What what can I do? So well, here's here's what you can do. I, I did some research, and they're not associated with us or anything. But you go on Amazon and you search uh, four by six photo and craft keeper extra large clear. You'll get a really neat box that have individual little pocket or individual little plastic. Uh, capsules in which your seed packet can set in, and it's all organized, it's all pretty, nothing's falling, every packet of seed or group of packets of seeds sets in a clip, or in a, in a little closed uh, envelope, plastic envelope inside of the giant uh, tray there. So that, that will work out really, really well for you. And you can experiment. Uh, everybody's got their own unique seed start or seed saving techniques. And you want something that works for you that you're going to be able to find the seeds for them uh, in, inside the, your searching form. So if you have a question, twvgshow at gmail.com is your best avenue to reach us. And let us know where you are listening to the show from so we can better address your question. Just like Becky asked, I'm from the Milwaukee area. I had tomato hornworms last year. How do I prevent that from happening again? Well, here's what you can do. We have fought tomato hornworms in the past. Tomato hornworms lay their larvae in the fall at a determined depth in the soil. So by disturbing the soil either late in the fall or as soon as you can get the soil to be worked here in the spring, you're going to reduce your chances of of the return of tomato hornworms by about 90%. If you're able to find, and I have been able to dig up a larva, it looks like a monarch butterfly cocoon in the soil. You want to destroy it. You don't want to make it a pet or anything like that. So you want to get rid of it. And then uh, whether you till your soil or you choose to spade it, whatever the case is, disrupting that larva will put it in a uh, level in which it's not 
designed to survive and uh, will greatly reduce the chances of getting tomato hornworm this year. Uh, also, moving your tomatoes from one location to another location will help detour that uh, opportunity for invitation of the hornworm again, too. Got time for one more question. What would you recommend, a metal watering can or a plastic watering can? Well, we use both. There are positives and negatives to both. Positive to the metal can, it doesn't deteriorate through the sun as a plastic one would if you leave it out for a long time. Obviously, the metal one will rust. The plastic one, plastic one will not. The thing that I would be encouraging you to look at when it comes to a watering can is get one with a detachable sprinkler head. That way, if particles get stuck in the sprinkling head or the sprinkler head, you can remove it. You don't have to beat around on it and try to tip it out. We've got a metal watering can that does not provide us with that uh, removal option. So, the pros and cons to both. But uh, make sure you get one with a detachable, uh, unscrew, uh, screwable off and on sprinkler head. You also want to be aware of the volume that the watering can will hold and how much you're capable of carrying. Just because it's a pretty three-gallon watering can, if you can't lift the three-gallon watering can because of whatever reason, doesn't do you much good. So keep that in mind as well. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.